welcome welcome to the healthy love clinic this is dr nelson bringing a topic uh, with a title saying if he say these things he is about to dump you if he or she says these things he is about to dump you well relationships are based on truth but sometimes truth can be painful to some people and nobody enjoys being in pain and the, and therefore there's a tendency to be afraid to tell the truth when you know for sure that this truth is going to hurt somebody therefore if somebody is in relationship with you and he knows that you have invested a lot in this relationship you wasted your time to build this relationship but for one reason or another he feels or she feels it's no longer worthy to continue investing in this relationship he's going to say certain kind of things which will bring you some questions as to the quality of the relationship itself and therefore it's very important for you to realize if certain words certain sayings are regularly used by your partner it is very likely that he's about to dump you and therefore you need to pay attention to the words that your partner is using in order to know exactly how to handle if this person is considering to leave you for good so the following words if you hear it from your partner know for sure that something is up something terribly bad is up so number one uh your partner will say not once more than once that you have changed if you if you hear your partner saying this several times maybe within a month or within two months that you have changed realize that he no longer see the values of continue this relationship why because the things that attracted him or her to you they are no longer there according to him according to him or her the thing that made her or him make a decision to be in a relationship with you they are no longer there that's why he says he has changed for example if you were yellow in color and this person was attracted to you because you are yellow and when he says you have changed it means that you're no longer yellow you are now blue and therefore he's not interested in you because you are blue and he was interested in yellow so you see uh, so be careful when your partner starts telling you that you have changed something is up something is cooking it's just a matter it's just a matter of time that this person will say it is over number two if he or she says don't try to control me don't try to control me what it means i have changed and i no longer see value in you yes you could be the same you haven't changed you could be the same but i no longer see value in you let me tell let me, let me give you an example for example you have been using a mobile phone a cell phone which cannot send images the button that you know the old small cell phones with only buttons not the android ones so the, the, those old phones that cannot send images to someone so with the new information you realize there's a, there's a, there are cell phones uh, which you can use to send images your photograph photograph of other places to somebody else very far then this of course if you got new information within you and this new information makes you change so people normally change for two reasons number one new information number two it has been very painful so people change for two reasons very painful or for new information now the new information is this uh, i like this phone because it can send images now when he somebody says 
don't try to control me. It, it means that I'm evolving, I'm changing, and you're not following the pace of my changes, and therefore you're no longer useful to me. In other words, I don't like you anymore. <laughs> I don't like you anymore. So don't try to control me because, because I, I, I'm, I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm in, a, in a different place in my life. I've grown, now I know what love is. When I started lesson with you, I didn't, know, I didn't know what love is. For example, you are short, now light now is interested in someone who is taller. For example, you are white, now he's interested in someone who is black. So because he has changed, he doesn't want to be controlled. Normally, two people will work together to sort out their differences. And if he's not willing to sort out the difference that arises between the two of you, then he's no longer interested in you. He's just after himself. He has become so self-centered to an extent he doesn't care about your pain. So don't try to control me because I'm just following my own pleasure. See? So if you hear somebody says, well, don't try to control me, remember, he has changed, not you. He has changed. Number three, I don't want to talk about it. If you hear your partner regularly saying, I don't want to talk about this, it means if there's something important to be talked about, and this guy says, or this lady says, no, I don't talk about it. No, please, because I'm tired. I don't want to talk about it. It means the relationship is over. There's no point in discussing it. There's no point to try to bring a solution. There's no, there's no solution. The solution is, I'm out of this relationship. It's just a matter of time when I walk away. See, so, I, I mean, normally someone who loves you will just try to talk. Let, 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 let us sort out our differences. This, that's natural. That's the natural flaw of somebody who loves you. He wants to talk things over. He wants to bring us to, uh, to get a solution so that you might live at peace with one another. Is that clear? Okay. The following one is, uh, you don't understand me. <laughs> you don't understand me. Well, I mean, you don't understand me. You know what? You don't understand me, baby. It means, well, this was, is this somebody who says, I've got new values. So, I got new values. Now, I'm not trying to help you understand my new values. I just I don't consider you as somebody who can live with me in these new values. For example, someone who didn't have money and he got a lot of money. <laughs> you see, he sees himself, his value is so high, he can't live with you. Someone who was not educated, now he's got education, he, get a, he can get a very good job. You don't understand me because you are not educated as I am. You are not as rich as I am. So I need to go with a standard. You know, I, I, I'm of this standard, you are of this standard. So you, you can't understand me. You are no longer in a relationship. You're just companions. When you hear a partner tell, tells you, you don't understand me. It means, well, no, I have changed. I've got a new value system. You are no longer part of me. So you just wait for the day when I'm saying, it's over. Just wait. So you start behaving in a very, uh, in, 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 in a very bad way. He'll be hurting you most of the times because you don't understand him. So because, and he does not help you understand him because he's made a decision, decision in his mind that you're no longer mine. There's somebody who has got the same values as I am. That's what I'm going for. Uh, other things which of course you'll hear from your partner after all these things I've just said here. You will claim to be very busy. It's a very busy baby. You know what? If somebody loves you, he'll make time for you. If somebody loves you, he'll make sure, he'll give you a priority. He'll give you, she will give you a priority. If he doesn't make time for you and it means you have no room in his life if he doesn't make time for you why should you make time for him i'm very busy well can't you even for two minutes call me text me it's two minutes too long well, well normally if somebody tells me i'm very busy i will assume he can't even go to the toilet if you can't even go to the toilet then i can understand how busy you are but if you can go to the toilet that then the toilet is better than me. So you treat me as a toilet. You see, because you only go to the toilet because you you you, well, you need to go there. So if you don't, if you don't see a need to talk to me, if you don't ask, you, you don't see a need to, to come and sit with me and talk to me and share with me, go out with me, go club with me. If you don't time for that, you're too busy, baby. I 
through things. I can put up with this. Because I'm of I'm, I'm, I'm value. I need to be given a, priori a priority. I'm somebody of value. You need to give a priority. That's how you show respect to me. That's how you, you demonstrate respect to me, that I'm somebody of value. If you're too busy for me, then I can't force you. This is about love. And love is about giving, giving your time. Okay, another thing which you'll hear uh, uh, your partner say if he's about to dump you. He says, she's just a friend. He is just a friend. He's just a friend, baby. No, 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 no. You're overreacting, baby. He's just a friend. You know what? <laughs> that is how people get burned. You know, when somebody's spending more time with another girl, and he's a man, when a girl is spending more time with another man, and he says to you, he's just a friend, she's just a friend, don't believe him. That is how people get burned in a fire. The closer you get, the easier you can get burned. If you want to get burnt, get closer to a fire. So if he's spending a lot of time with this girl, if he's spending a lot of time with this boy, and he's, like, he's just afraid, no, don't believe him. Just in the process of dumping you. He's just in the process of just dumping you. So watch out. <laughs> Another thing was we shall come, just say, I mean, just, 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 just close to it, next, just next to it. If he says he's just a friend, she's just a friend, the next one is, why don't you trust me? Why don't you trust me? I mean, that's, 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 that's so easy. People say, why don't you trust me? You may, why don't you trust me? You're so insecure. Oh, 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 you're so insecure. No, don't believe him. <laughs> I trust you. The thing is, I'm not happy about the time I spend with this guy. I'm not happy about, you, you, you no longer have time for me. You don't, you, you, you don't longer share things with me. You don't call me as often as you used to call me. I should be concerned. Who is taking your time? Who else is in your mind? Who else is in your, in your heart? I want to know. I want to know. Don't tell me you don't trust me. No, I need, I need something to hold on to to trust you. You know what? When, when you're asking your partner questions, when you, I mean, you, when you ask your partner some questions, what, 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 you, what you're doing is for him or her to get involved in, in the disturbance that is in you. Because I'm not happy, I don't have peace because you're so close to this girl, you're so close to this guy. So, you're so close, I, I don't have peace. So if you really love me, you'll make sure the peace within me is restored. So it's not a matter, it's not a matter of not, that I don't trust you. <laughs> I want you to, to, to give me a reason to trust you. Why? You, you don't call me as you called me, you used to call me, you don't invite me, you don't take me out as you used to do. I need to be concerned. If I'm concerned about this, you also, as if you love me, you'll be concerned about what, the way I react, you see? This is what love is. Bearing the burden of each other. Is that right? I think you, try, you, you understand me. And nothing which your partner will say to you, <laughs> everything I do is wrong. Everything I do is wrong. <laughs> you know what? I mean, everything I do is wrong. Everything I do to you is wrong. If you hear some, your partner, if your partner say this a lot of times, many times, regularly, whatever I do to you is wrong, it means even my breathing, <laughs> I shouldn't be breathing. Even if, if, if when I breathe, even when I'm alive, I'm wrong as well. What, you know what does it mean? What it means is this. Well, you're not good enough for me. You are not good enough for me. No matter what you do. No matter what you do to me, I can't appreciate it. This is what it means. No matter what you do, I cannot appreciate it. You're not good enough for me. So he will project it to you. That you're the one who doesn't understand me. Whatever I do is wrong to you. Because you're not good enough for me. Whatever you do is not enough for me. Whatever you do is not enough for me. And therefore, everything I do is wrong. Why? There's, there's nothing like that. If somebody loves you, it will take time to, baby. Why? 
because of this and this and this, that's why I did this. Because of this and this, that's why I'm like, you try to explain yourself. And don't accuse somebody of being unjust to you. See, don't accuse your partner, your husband, your wife, your wife of being unjust to you. Just try to understand one another. Try to understand one another. <laughs> the last one, <laughs> the last one, I didn't expect this. <laughs> I didn't expect this from you. You know what? <laughs> my expectation has grown. My, my expectation about your love towards me are far much more than what you can give me. So I don't expect you to question me when I'm late. I didn't expect you to question me when I didn't call you back. I didn't expect you. You, you know what? This, I mean, love is, there should be some expectations between the two people who are in love. There should always be expectations that you'll do this, I expect you to do this, I expect you to do this. I expect you to tell me. If you'll be late, let me know early. If you are canceling our date, our going out, I need to know this. So when I get angry, so when, I, when, I, when I get angry, when you get upset because of what you did or what you failed to do, I've got the right to ask you. I've got the right to be angry. But when I get angry because you made a mistake and you blame me for getting angry, you, can you see how unfair it is? You see how unfair it is? I mean, you get angry because, I, I, because you made a mistake and you made me angry. Because, so you don't want me to get angry. I'm a human being with, with feelings. I mean, I'm a human being with feelings. You need to understand me. Is that clear, baby? <laughs> well, I'm just telling you this. I mean, if you see those things um, being uttered, being said by your partner or by your spouse, whatever it is, regularly, please take it to heart that this guy is about to leave you. This guy is already has got a, a, a plan B. So please subscribe to this channel. I would love to hear your comments. Subscribe to this channel. Uh, you see there's a bottom and red, 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 uh, red box. The red box is written down there. Subscribe. Please subscribe. And I'll be bringing you various topics from every angle of relationship. I'll be bringing one in English, another in Swahili. One in English, and so, so, so expect more in English as well, because you're English speaker. My God bless you. Take care of your good stuff. Bye.